We did it, ladies and gentlemen. After seven long years of inconsistency, we have finally hit 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. <laughs> I am very happy about that. Um, just want to say thank you, making a thank you video, celebration video. Um, wanted to also get into some things. Wanted to talk about, wanted to talk about uh, consistency, and you know what's been going on and why, um, and why it's been hard for me to make YouTube videos. So, as you can see, in the past couple months, I really started going ham making YouTube videos. And when I mean going ham, I mean applying every inch of knowledge of making videos that I know. I was putting 105% into every single video that I had been, you know, that I have made in the last two months. If you go down below those videos, you can see there's kind of, there's a weird, there's a weird pace. There's a weird consistency to my channel. You can see if you go down really early, a lot of the thumbnails are like half-assed not even created and then you get up a little bit more and then you can see there is a part where I started to like get into making thumbnails but it only lasted for like a short amount of time I don't know if that's too loud um, what am I even listening to right now but there's a short amount of time where um, I started you know making good, good thumbnails and then again the uh, the quality and that you can see the thumbnails I need to get a haircut so bad I need to get a haircut so bad I already know that I already know I already know I already know and then the thumbnail started to get really bad again they started to get half-assed again and then it led up to the horizon zero dawn video which was our that's the video that I made and that I didn't make another video for a whole year after that I'm really happy that I hit 200 subs and I do want to keep making videos um, but I have to be honest and say that lately it's just been difficult and that's why it, there hasn't been a video that has come up yet. I know there's a lot of weird stuff in my background. I'm pretty sure you guys will have a blast analyzing every single pixel of what is behind me and even what song I'm listening to right now. That'll be fun. The reason it's been hard to make videos is um, basically sadness. Um, but not just sadness in general, um, just sadness caused by um, events <clears throat> that happened to me um, that really killed my motivation to go hard on my YouTube channel, which I do at some point in some way want it to amount to something or want it to turn into something. I just know that there's barely anything there for anything to grab onto to, to turn into something. You know what I mean? And nobody even nobody knows who the fuck I am even. So that's another thing. <laughs> I can't stream because I live in the middle of the desert, so that's not even an option. Literally the only thing I, I can do to to build any sort of audience is to have a YouTube channel until I move somewhere, which I'm trying to do <sighs> to be able to start streaming because, I mean, I haven't been able to start, so I have no idea what the probability or what my success looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I at least want to try before I just say I can't do it, I'm never gonna do it. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's another thing. In the last two months, there have been a couple of videos that included somebody who you did not see because they were not in frame, but one of the reasons it's been hard for me to make another gaming video is because the last gaming video that I made was not uploaded, but it was recorded and I have not edited the video yet. And to be honest, I don't think, you know, I don't think I want to edit the video. I don't think I will edit the video. So I'll have to move on from it and just make a brand new one with a different game. Um, but the last video that I made, uh, I recorded it with somebody uh, and they're not here anymore. They're not, they're not dead, <laughs> okay? They're not dead. Um, but just, you know, emotions and, 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 and dumb, dumb crap that uh, it wasn't dumb to me at the time, but I, I am just really affected by the fact that they're not here anymore. 
and I, for me it's kind of just like I didn't really know them for that long but for me it's kind of like you know they used to watch me make videos and it was like a cool thing because I introduced them to this little thing that I do which is this that I want to amount to something someday and then I I mean I don't I don't want to say that I ruined it you know I'm still just affected by it I guess um, as you can see now what I'm th this has happened before right it made me not make a video on my channel for so long and what I'm also saying is that I don't want to let that happen again but I couldn't force myself to just make another gaming video knowing how I was gonna feel without you know at least getting it off my chest so that anybody who comes or runs across my channel uh, in the future you know can just like get a better feel for where I'm at making videos where I have been there's been a lot of videos that I've made on my channel that were forced uh, there's been a lot of videos on my channel where you can you might be able to tell but I'm just like super depressed about outside things in my own life that just sucked it really hurt my heart and it just sucked the motivation to want to do anything you know what I mean that has kind of happened again but on a much smaller scale you know and that's just the reason for my inconsistency at least a big part of it I do want to make videos because my life is so freaking boring I go to work I come home right And that's pretty much it. I can go to my friend's house that I've been friends with for 10 years and we can just go to his house and go walk around in the desert, go ride bikes in the desert. I like, you know what I mean? I mean, we used to, it's just different now. It was different in 2013 when we used to hang out and go outside. But having this person in my life, just, I was really happy and excited about it. And it brought, it brought difference to my life. You know, there was actually a reason that I actually you know went out and got breakfast which is something that I don't usually do or there was just something that I didn't typically do in the day because this person wasn't here to go and do it with <clears throat> and then I let emotions get in the way in such a short amount of time and they did not want to I don't know if it's because they couldn't handle it which makes sense or if it's because they just didn't want to probably both they're not here anymore and it just like how I said earlier, it makes me feel like I have to revert back to, oh, you know, back to what it was. Like, it's not that I regret that it happened. What really bums me out is that every time I think about the past, it's like a reminder of the chances that I had that I don't even have anymore. But like, I can't blame myself 100% because I didn't know that I had those chances. It's like just another learning experience. Like, <laughs> I've had like more than one learning experience, if you know what I mean. I don't like need them stacked and piled on top of each other I still like the person I don't think the person likes me though but then I ask myself you know what if they ever what if they came back in some weird way you know what I mean that that sliver of undying hope but anyway I would like to get back into making videos I need to snap out of it I need to like just <sighs> I need to I need to lock in it's funny because when I would say lock in they didn't like that they just said they told me that locking in was unhealthy and then I was like what do you mean I mean I guess it just depends on what your view or definition is on the term lock in I mean I know it's a term that our generation has used to kind of describe getting really focused the way that I look at locking in it's Actually, I mean, I can see how it can be unhealthy because when you lock in, you kind of just immediately shut everything out without maybe thinking about things that are better off being resolved rather than just being shut out because you locked in. Maybe it'll take a little bit of time for me to, to get back into the swing of it. There is a video that I have planned as a 200 subscriber special. It's a bike vlog, but I have a very special bike, so it would be interesting. I know that I need to get back into the swing of making videos again. I need $2,000 to move out 
That's first and last month's rent for this place that I'm looking at. That's a thousand a month. It's a long story. Now I know a lot of you are probably gonna say that the that a thousand a month is a lot. To some people, that is a lot. To some people, that's very little. For me, that's like I'm not the only one. It's it's a long story, but there's two people involved, so it's only like five hundred for me per month. They need a thousand. I need a thousand. It's a pain in the ass when you only get like a little over 200 a paycheck. As soon as I get to a different place that has like better internet access, get the fuck out of here. As soon as I find a place that has better internet access, uh, then I can then I can start trying to stream because I would like to do that. Because you know why not? There's so many people getting into it, and they're all between like you know 15 and 25 like between 18 and 30 or 40 you know what i'm saying i need to uh my heart needs to my heart needs a little bit of healing which only time can do i do plan on making videos i haven't forgotten and um hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you have any comments or anything to say um just let me know there's like 50 new people here at least I mean, there has to be some sort of audience. I mean, there's gotta be. There's 200 people. Even though like 150 of them have been there for years and years and years. And as soon as I started making videos, they're like, who the heck is this guy showing up in my subscriptions? And then they're like, oh yeah, I subscribed to him for some reason, like five years ago. And he didn't barely made any videos or I never noticed. Because his inconsistency, because his consistency was so terrible. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and peace out.